imaging in mucin is neoplasm of the body. Mucin is a complex, high molecular weight glycoprotein -like with oligopeptide per factor. They arise in various organs and have unique imaging CT features like low tumor density, septations, calcifications, thick wall, intradumoral nodules, speculations, enhancing septi, which help differentiating them from other cystic lesions and predicting the risk of malignancy. Coming to the methodology, it was a retrospective analytical study done by an institute between January 2017 and September 2024. Video of CCT uh, for suspected cases of mucinous neoplasm who, in patients who subsequently underwent surgical resection were selected and only HPV proven cases with C triple phase CCT done in our, our institute were selected for the study. Here we combine head to toe uh, mucinous neoplasm imaging of heterotone mucinous neoplasm from eyebrow to the prostatic urethra. A 60-year-old male complained of swelling in the left eyebrow since one and a half year with increased, sudden increase in the size. Provided are the selected axial sections of venous phase of a triple phase CT, which shows an uh, enhancing lesion in the subcutaneous plate in the left periorbital region, abutting the bone, however, no erosion does it shows mild leptage activity on PET scan, which turned out to be a primary mucinous adenocarcinoma of the eyelid, an extremely rare ectrine gland cancer with incidence of only 0.07 per million person years. Underlying occult malignancy needs to be ruled out, and in this case, there was a detected mucinous adenocarcinoma. It has a high local recurrence and potential for distant metastasis. Most microsurgery was done. A 60-year-old female complains of uh, swelling over the right, the left cheek. So here we can see in the selected venous section of triple phase CCT, venous section axial cut, showing enhancing lesions involving the superficial lobe of the left parotid gland. On MRI, we could see a T2 heterogeneously enhancing heterogeneous lesion, T2 heterogeneous lesion with the diffusion restriction, and on post coagulant administration. We can see the lesion is encasing the left facial nerve. This suggests perineal spread in case of mucopidomoid carcinoma of the parotid gland. This CT will typically show a solicitic lesion with tumoral calcification, heterogeneous enhancement. A close differential is an adenoid cystic carcinoma. A 50 year old female complains of a nasal stuffiness and uh, a pain over the left cheek. So we can see a lobulated soft tissue density mass in the left uh, floor of the left pancreatic sinus with multiple intertubular calcifications. This turned out with erosions of the floor of the maxilla and uh, root of the upper second molar. This turned out to be a mucopidermoid carcinoma of the maxilla. MECs arising in the maxillofacial region have origin either from the maxillary sinus lining or central MECs which arise from the bone within or from a minor salivary gland. Calcification are variants or most commonly seen in piercel variants. A 72 year old female complains of cough with expectoration, however, no evidence of fever and complaint of weight loss. So we can see multifocal, multicentral, bilateral, uh, peripheral uh, unaged, uh, airspace consolidation, air bronchogram, peripheral ground glass opacity, and other nodular, cons nodular uh, consolidation, predominantly in right, middle, and lower, and left upper zone. With indistinct tumor lung interval. This is the invasive mucinous adenocarcinoma of the lung. Bilaterality, multicentrality shows a erosion spread and L bronchogram specific for lepidemic type of A 67 year old male complains of loss of weight and appetite. So, on non contrast uh, CT scan, we can see uh, a circumferential neural thickening of the gastric wall with intradumoral calcification affecting the um, cardia and fundus of the stomach with causing luminal narrowing. A similar case, uh, another case shows uh, a, a, a symmetrical luminal, a symmetrical uh, gastric wall thickening along the lesser curvature with enhancement and loss of neural pattern. This is mucinous gastric carcinoma with signal cell. Signal cell carcinoma manifests as a serous tumor with diffuse circumferential wall thickening, luminal narrowing, called as linitis plastica. 
thickening of the diffusely low attenuating mineral or outer layer which corresponds to the mucin pool in the deeper submucosa or the deeper layer there is layering enhancement patterns a 35 year old female known case of carcinoma stomach a grade 4 complains of abdominal distent here we can see a heterogeneously enhancing lesion in the left adnexa with a concurrent or heterogeneously enhancing thickening seen in the uh, uh, lesser lesser and greater curvature of the stomach um, this is a suggestion of a crookin burkum where we can have an where there is a solid thick heterogeneously enhancing adnexal mass with concurrent gastric or colonic malignancy a 56 year old female complains of pain with abdominal distent a large retroperitoneal cystic lesion with enhancing septation and uh, enhancing the patient's few uh, areas of few specks of calcification are seen. This turned out to be a retroperitoneal mucinous adenocarcinoma, which is an extremely rare case and uh, uh, neoplasm with a good survival rate. It is almost exclusively seen in middle aged women. Hypothesis of development include teratoma. With predominant mucinous epithelial cells, heterotopic ovarian tissue, invagination into the peritoneal tissue of the retro, into the perito peritoneum, which undergo metaplasia or intestinal duplication. A delay in diagnosis may lead to rupture, infection, or malignant transformation. DDs include retroperitoneal lymphatic malformation, retroperitoneal mucinous adenoma, retroperitoneal cystic teratoma, cystic mesothelioma, to name a few. 62 year old female, known case of IPM and complaints of abdominal distance. Here we can see uh, enhancing nodules along the greater and less lesser curvature with ascites and scalloping of the liver cell. This is progressive intraperitoneal accumulation of the mucinous ascites related to a mucin producing neoplasm, as in this case, IPM. The scarlet appearance and coated abdominal organs with omental caking as characteristic. Most common sites of uh, deposits are. The site of physiological lymphatic absorption of ascites and dependent area. Deposits spare the mobile uh, small bowel. Sterile male complains of abdominal dissection. Here we can see a um, cystic lesion in the spleen with multiple enhancing septation, a multi lobulated multi cystic lesion in the lower pore, predominant in the lower pore. This turned out to be a primary mucinous cystic of the spleen, which only been reported in case reports in literature and is very rare. Uh, they can arise from heterotopic tissues in the pancreas, a pancreatic tissue in the spleen. Majority of these tumors are metastasis from other organs. Surgical resection and pathological evaluation are necessary for a definite diagnosis. A 52 year old female with right hypochondriac pain uh, uh, shows an enhancing mass, uh, uh, a cystic lesion with enhancing septation, scattered throughout the liver, largest in segment 6. Uh, a speck of intertumoral calcification is also seen. MRCP confirms cystic nature and multifocal. This, um, this is a case of mucinous cystic neoplasm of the liver, previously known as biliary cystadenoma, most commonly seen in middle aged women with the invasive MCN seen in older patients. They can be solidly encapsulated unilocular or multilocular lesions with multiple septations and cystic masses. Um, Without communication with the bile duct. Calcification can be seen with septal enhancement. Uh, in certain cases, it's minimal. Presence of septal nodularity are more favored to a cystadenocarcinoma. Focal upstream dilatation and perilational fat are seen in curves seen due to mass effect. Differentials to be considered are hepatic cyst, biliary cystadenocarcinoma, and hepatic lymphangioma. 16 year old female complains of weight loss and jaundice. So we can see. Thickened gallbladder wall, irregular thickened gallbladder wall with a heterogeneously enhancing lesion in the fundus of the gallbladder with few areas of necrosis, perilesional uh, edema, so pe uh, pe uh, pericholistic edema and inflammatory changes, dilated uh, common bile duct, and um, peripotal lymph adenopathy with a few specks of calcification. Uh, this is the suggestion of mucinous adenocarcinoma of the gallbladder. They can be localized thickening, inter Interdominal polypotal mass or uh, and conglomerate lymphadenopathy. This is the clinching feature. A 61 year old male complains of wake abdominal pain and loss of weight. So we can see a trophy of uh, the pancreatic parenchyma with, uh, with uh, dilated 
and sacular diffuse and sacular dilatation of the main pancreatic duct and the side branches. The head is replaced by a poorly enhancing lobulated heterogeneous multi-separated lesion with few specks of calcification within. This is a mixed type of IPMS, introductory papillary mucinous carcinoma. There are two types, so three types, side branch, main duct, and uh, mixed type. Stratification and risk of management are given by Fukuoka guidelines or the Fotio guidelines 2017. So there are worrisome features at high risk stigmata. Worrisome features include cysts more than 3 cm, enhancing wall, neural nodules, empyrean 5 to 9 mm, whereas high risk stigmata includes enhancing solid components more than 5 and main empyrean more than 10 mm with obstructive joints. Endoscopic ultrasound reveals a classic string set. A 60 year old gentleman complained with right iliac fossa pain. So, we can see a tubular structure, dilated tubular structure arising from the base of a base of cecum with curvilinear neural calcification and intra lesional uh, gas, air focus. This is suggestive of an infected mucosine. Mucosine are mucin distended tubular appendix, which are well circumscribed low attenuation arising from the base of the cecum with curvilinear uh, calcification. A diameter more than 13 mm with absence of calcification or neural nodularity and irregular wall thickness is more towards malignant transformation. A 67 year old male complains of acute right of pain in the right iliac fossa. So we can see a dilated appendix, fluid filled appendix with perilation edema and lymphadenopathy. The biopsy turned out to be a low red appendix mucinous neoplasm. The most common epithelial neoplasm of the appendix, especially in elderly patients. Presentation can be either acute appendicitis due to obstruction of the appendicular lumen or in advanced cases can be due to abdominal distension from pseudomyxoma peritonae. Treatment is appendicectomy with cecal resection and right hemicolectomy with attention space to avoiding spillage during the exam. A 58 year old uh, female presented with severe pain in the right iliac fossa and vomiting. Appendix is grossly dilated with a diameter of 24 mm with multiple enantic septa within and extensive areas of fat striving. Both mucin uh, and both ham and lamb can dissect into the appendicular wall and perforate the visceral peritoneum with subsequent risk of pseudomyxoma peritoneum. 70 year old female, a male, complained of abdominal pain and swelling. Here we can see a heterogeneously enhancing mass arising from the domes of bladder up to the umbilical with a speck of calcification and peri uh, lesional edema. This turned out to be a urethral mucinous adenocarcinoma. They are uh, asymptomatic uh, until locally or advanced or metastatic. They are midline low attenuating mass between the pelvis and the pelvis between the umbilicus and the dome of the bladder. Surgical management is uh, surgical excision is definitely. 82 year, man, year old male complains of difficulty in micturition. We, we see a uh, um, ill defined lobulated solid cystic mass with soft density mass with few cystic areas and intradumental calcium. At the base of the bladder, uh, obstructing the left vesicular junction, is in res uh, resulting in mild left uh, vesic uh, right, left hydroretronephrosis. Mucinous, uh, this turned out to be mucinous adenocarcinoma of the bladder, which is extremely rare and has a very aggressive behavior and poorly responding to chemo or radiotherapy. They present with obstructive lower tract symptoms and intradumous triple calcification with class. 46 year old female complains of bloating and weak abdominal pain. CT shows a multilocular, um, multilocular large cystic lesion arising from the left adnexa with enhancing septic and few locules show enhanced uh, increased uh, tens, in tens, uh, density, which can be due to either high protein content of the mucin or hemorrhage. This is the mucin assisted enoma of the ovary. Uh, large presentation, multilocular with Smooth thin wall are classified. A 67 year old male complains of blood and stool. So we can see circumferential thickening of the rectum and the uh, anus with intradumoral calcification, with the uh, intramural calcification and causing severe luminal narrow. Uh, this is mu rectal mucinous carcinoma. Uh, this can provide cystic or hepatic metastasis. Mucin can also be seen in rectal carcinoma in response to neoadjuvant therapy. Coming to the last case, a very rare case of a 60-year-old male with a history of TORD in December 2021 for benign prostatic hypoplasia 
intraoperatively, an unhealthy prostatic urethra was seen. The papillary growth in the urethra with history of hematuria. Uh, on CT, we can see a solid cystic lesion, hypodent solid cystic lesion in the prostate gap, encasing the uh, prosthetic urethra and indenting the base of bladder. This turned out to be a mucinous adenocarcinoma of the prosthetic urethra. It's extremely rare and has only been reported once in literature before. It is considered pure adenocarcinoma, mucinous adenocarcinoma, with the extra related mucin more than 25% of the test. Thank you.